I want to discuss the private member variables and the concept of them that we introduced as a discussion point in our previous video. Let's go to a fresh IntelliJ project. Um, there's nothing special about this. It, it's just I've already opened it. It's got a main um, class. You can call that test. Um, I would be inclined just for clarity. I would call that um, stack test. So we'll use this class and the main method in here to create our objects and test them. OK, so that's the first thing to note. So let's go and create a stack node class. So the name and I'm capitalizing the word stack and capitalizing the word node. Um, hit enter on that and there's our empty stack node class. So as our discussion in the previous video said, when we think about the stack node class, we have two parts, the data, which is the private member variables. Um, and uh, the methods, whatever we're doing with that data and interacting and always remember this diagram, whatever data you have inside your class, it is hidden. And the only way of accessing it are through the methods. So if there's an inter external interface here, right, let's say user interface or anything, the only way you can get access is via the methods. OK, that's a general principle of all coding, but we just keep that in the background. So we're interested to start with in the private member variables. So we have an empty once you've got yourself an empty um, stack node. Let's also create the file. Um, and go to the source folder, create new. Um, no, we, we've got it here. Sorry, bear with me a second. Where have I popped it? It is, I think, in there. OK, I just want to rearrange it um, and make sure that all my files are um, carefully managed. So I'm going to pause here and just show you something. Refactor this folder and call this. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's just call this stack um, files. And in that way, if I refactor it, so there is in the source folder a folder called stack files. If I click in that and I drag in my stack node, refactor it, then all my stack files will be in the same folder. I don't need that one. I'm going to just delete and tidy up my code. But we'll worry about tidying up the code at a later stage. Here's an interesting thing. Um, if you do um, if you do use IntelliJ, which I would encourage, then IntelliJ will also allow you to um, tidy up useless and redundant code. Right. So now I've tidied my project up. I have a source folder SRC in there. I have a folder called stack files. Right. When you create a folder, you right click it. It is called a package. So a package in IntelliJ is essentially a folder and that maps interestingly enough, to an external folder address. OK, it's very important to bear this in mind. Let me just show you if I come to here, I've got a folder here called under the hood. Um, there's other code that you're going to you'll see there's a source folder in the source folder. There is a folder called stack files and in the stack files are my two Java files. So inside the environment it's called a package in the, in your Explorer. It's a folder. And it's a very simple way of organizing your code. If you drag stuff around, make sure that you refactor it so everything is connected. OK, so in theory, I've got nothing inside here at all. I've got no member variables, and that's what we'll concentrate on in the next video.